so far we have learned about the valuation of cash flows uh, basically the time value of money concepts so that we can calculate the value of a future cash flow now it is time for us to um, apply these concepts one of the situation where we can apply this cash flow valuation concept is the valuation of business projects the entrepreneurs or the business organizations often invest in new projects while deciding about the project they must try to compare the present value of the all future cash flows with the amount they are going to invest it can be done using the project business project valuation model uh, that we are going to see in this lecture so in this valuation model we basically have input one uh, one set of input uh, information and the and and the resulting output so let's try to list the input here one of the input is the initial investment of the project that will be done in year 0 so let's say the initial investment is 10000 another input is the cash flows resulting out of the project in different years so let us list the cash flows in different years I will um, show the years in this column and the cash inflows from the business project in this column so here we'll start from 1 2 3 4 5 so it will depend on the maturity of the project life of the project let's say the life of our project is five years and we have the following cash flows in each of the five years in year in year one uh, let's say the cash flow is cash inflow is two thousand in year two it is three thousand in year sorry it was in year two in year three it is uh, let's say 2500 in year 4 500 and in year 5 3000 so we have multiple cash flows in the years 1 1 to year 5 now we have another input that we must also consider that is the discount rate as you have seen if you want to calculate the present value of future cash flows you must have a discount rate now what is the discount rate in this case the discount rate essentially is the rate of return that could have been earned by investing this ten thousand dollar in an alternative investment in the best alternative investment so that is actually the opportunity cost of capital in some cases we can use the cost of capital as the discount rate that means uh, if you if you uh, let's say you are uh, borrowing this money this ten thousand dollar or maybe you have a mix of borrowing and the uh, owners investment so if you somehow calculate the cost of this ten thousand capital if you find that it is ten percent then your discount rate should be ten percent okay so let us write it down the discount rate is ten percent now we have got all the necessary inputs now let us try to calculate the output and we will uh, we will estimate we will calculate the output in a way so that we can uh, we can call it a model uh, uh, so that if we change the information in the input area the output will also change uh, uh, as per the input information now we will calculate the present value of all the cash inflows so let us write the column heading PV of cash inflows present value of cash inflows so how do we calculate the present value of cash inflows you know that it is the cash flow itself divided by 1 plus the discount rate to the power of year okay so in this case it will be <coughs> equal to 
the cash inflow of this uh, of the corresponding cell divided by divided by 1 plus the discount rate remember that the discount rate will remain fixed it will not change if we change the uh, if we change the cell later so it is better to um, type in the dollar sign so that we can fix up this cell now bracket close to the power the number of uh, the 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 year okay now uh, i prefer I prefer to have another bracket here that is just my way okay now if you if you enter then you will get the result of the present value of cash inflow in year one but if you want to get the same for year two three four and five you can simply copy and paste the formula in the corresponding cells so if you do that what will happen this e6 will change to e7 in the next cell okay and then e12 will remain constant and the d6 will also change d6 will also change so let me uh, press enter and then copy the formula downward okay now um, to get rid of so many decimal places let me reduce it to two decimal place so now you can see that we have got the present value of cash inflows let me uh, center the uh, cells so that it, it looks better now let us check one of the cell randomly to find if we have calculated correctly so you can see it is e9 that means uh, the cash inflow of year 4 divided by 1 plus the discount rate e12 that is very good to the power d9 so it is also the fourth year 4 is the exponent here so we have got the present value of cash inflows now if we want to get the total present value that means the total of the present value of cash inflows uh, we can get it very easily so pv of all cash inflows okay so that will be equals to sum of all these cash flows okay now you can see that the present value of all cash inflows is 8380.08 now what we have to do we have to compare this value with the initial investment you can see that the value that we are getting from the investment is 8380 but the amount we are investing is 10,000 so you can see that we are investing more than what value we are getting therefore this investment is not acceptable so let us write down the decision we can we, we can actually um, use a formula for that the if formula if the present value of all cash inflows is greater than the initial investment then let us write that the decision should be accept the project and if it is not then the decision will be reject the uh, or we can just uh, simply uh, type reject or accept rather than writing you know, all this thing I think that's fine okay now we are closing the bracket and we can see that the decision is here it is reject because this is greater uh, this is less than the uh, uh, this is less than what we are investing now let us check if the model works if our in initial investment is 8000 then we can see that the project is acceptable because if we compare the initial investment and the present value of all cash inflows that then the initial investment is less than what value we are getting okay let me um, control Z so we get the previous one now let us check if the discount rate is higher for example uh, you you your cost of capital is very high let's say it is 15% 
okay so in that case you can see if you change it your present value of cash inflow becomes even lower uh, so uh, it is obviously another rejection now let's say our discount rate is only 5% now what happens you can see still the project is uh, has to be rejected now if it is only 2% then what happened now you can see that the present value of cash inflow becomes greater than the initial investment so the present value or the value of a business project okay this is actually the value of the business project so the value of the business project also depend uh, depends on the uh, on the discount rate that means the cost of capital or the alternative opportunity to invest the money okay uh, now we can of course uh, do some kind of formatting okay formatting so that the things um, the all this thing looks better okay it depends on your creativity I'm not going into the detail of that uh, just a little formatting so that it looks better at least we have some little um, formatting okay I hope that you have understood how to uh, how to use the spreadsheet software uh, like Microsoft Excel to uh, develop a, a model of um, business project valuation thank you for watching